beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel. Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many struggles, but by your spirit and your grace, I'm confident you'll solve them. But this is why I'm here. I'm here to say I love you. Take you one more time as the deer pants for the water. As the deer pants for the
Help me worship you. You are my own. It's not a special number. I'm seeking you as a precious jewel. I'll be your own. You are my own. Lift your hands, lift your voice, and let's acknowledge you. When I am weak, you are the treasure that I see. My all in all. Not to give up. I'll be a fool. My own. Sing Jesus. 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 Jesus, we acknowledge you. Mortal men empowered by a dimension of reality beyond this realm doing wonders in the name of the Lord. Jesus, we truly bless you. We truly bless you. We truly bless you. We truly bless you. We truly love you. We truly bless you. We're not using you. We love you. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you, Jesus. Hold me close to your embrace. Take us deeper. Deeper than we've ever been before For we just want to love you more and more How I long to be Jesus, Jesus, Jesus What a wonder you Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are, oh Jesus, what a wonder you are, beautiful rose of Shara, what a wonder you are. What a wonder you are, oh Jesus. Don't look at me, go ahead and worship him. What a wonder you are, the lion of the tribe of Judah. What a wonder you are. I like you to pray and say, Lord, see what you've made out of my life. How could I be ungrateful? I want you to reflect in one minute. Look what he's done in and through your life. The psalmist said, if the Lord had not been by my side, now may Israel say,
But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter. Of my head. Sing it as a revelation. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter of my head. Jesus, we love you. This is why we are here to express our love. You have been good to us. We cannot deny your hand in our midst. You have been good to me. I see your goodness all around. I see your faithfulness. And Lord, together with your people, we acknowledge you. Some may trust in horses, some may trust in chariots, some may trust in their intelligence. Lord, but find the people tonight who trust only in the name of our God. You have wiped our tears, you have, you have exalted us and given us a name. We return to Hallelujah. Before we continue in one minute, I'd like you to honestly open your mouth and tell the Lord that area of challenge in your life. That area that is making you to not praise God the way you should. Lord, I want to praise you, but these finances is eating me up. I want to praise you, but my health. Lift your voice in one minute. Talk to him. Be very sincere and open before your maker. we believe. That's why we are here. Jesus, hear the cry of your people. You see their pains and you see their hurts. Who oh, but you, O oh God, is able to wipe their tears and give them testimonies. As the glory of your presence moves all over this place. Spare not your hand, O oh God, stretch it. Touch your people. Hallelujah. Jesus, we enthrone you. Participate in the worship is doing something to your spirit. Standing in the midst of all, we raise you high with our praise. Saints of God, let's worship the mighty one. Jesus, I take. 
like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transference of virtue right from the man to his wife give her time there will be evidence of that transference we call it pregnancy then she will give birth to a child that symbolizes her union with her husband this meeting is called koinonia there are many dimensions you enter into not just by preaching the atmosphere of his glory brings you into it all of a sudden you walk and find out that certain things become possible resolutions are happening in your spirit as you are worshiping it's not just about songs it's not just about songs surrender is happening as you worship conviction happening healings miracles impartation so don't you think we are wasting our time if this is all we do today you will never be the same Mike said something when he came up he said if Buhari comes to greet you right if, if Obama comes to greet you their presence has an implication on your destiny let me tell you God does not just come he's invoked it's the same way you invoke the spirit of a man and it is worship that invokes him he chooses the dimension he wants to reveal to the people and then he causes them to sing him in that dimension to come. Hallelujah. So please, I, I don't want you to be careless with this worship. It's a little moment of worship, but let me tell you, a lot can happen. I worship you, great I am. You are mighty in this. I worship you, King of Kings. You are strong and breast and one. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands. As I sing praises to your name, I lift my hands in worship. As I sing praises to your name, I lift my hands in worship. Sujada nena ke to the mighty God Godia nena ke Godia Sujada nena ke Godia nena ke Sujada nena ke Godia nena ke Sujadan in a gay, my chetona, Godia in a gay, Sujadan in a gay, Ya Yesu, Godia in a gay, Shabrihawa, 
Come ashamed and embarrassed where we see it as a waste of time to acknowledge you. The Bible says, In all thy ways, acknowledge you. It says, And you shall direct your path. Hallelujah. Please sit down if you can. Listen, don't just come to Koinonia to receive revelations, come to learn wisdom especially those of us in ministry there is a force that backs your ministry when you can lead congregations to thank god in this listen please let's settle down in this time of ingratitude always complaining lord you would have done this thank you for the one you have done and we pass it very fast and then we begin to talk about the one he has not done it pays to be thankful and it pays to express gratitude lavishly. This is the secret, one of the biggest secrets in my life. It's one of the biggest secrets in this ministry. I can thank him and roll from end to end. When David danced before God, the daughter of Saul, who was his wife, said, No, you are you should know that your status has changed and Saul I mean um, um, who was that David looked at her and said I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me hallelujah when you see something happening in your life and it's not happening everywhere thank God for it because that means it's not commercial when you see results in your life you see people's prayer point as your testimony thank god for it are we together yes. god bless you good evening everyone tonight i want to over the next few weeks i'm going to be challenging us on our spiritual lives our spiritual growth 
we have taught on the principles of the kingdom but i want to challenge us to make progress in our personal lives as far as the knowledge of god not just his ways his person so i'll be challenging us along that thought and um I have a very strong burden and a desire in my heart tonight and I'm trusting that God will grant grace to be able to speak to us. Let our hearts be opened. Isaiah 40, please. We'll read from verse 1 to 5 and then I'll teach on a few things and we'll pray. I trust God that uh, I'll be very brief tonight. It's a series so we can build from it. Let's see how we can pray. Um, Media, please get ready. Maybe at some point you may give us worship as we pray together. Isaiah 40. Are you there? Say amen. God is doing something in your life every week. As we gather in his presence, he's changing us. His word does not change people by default. His word must be explained, must be understood, must be believed, received, and acted upon. Then there will be results. The word of God does not change you by default. Are we together? Verse 1 to 5. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. 2. Help us, media, please. Speak ye comfortably to jerusalem he says and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned for she hath received of the lord's hand double for all her sins verse 3 the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the lord make straight in the desert a highway for our god we're reading to verse 5 Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain. Let's read verse 5 together. One to read. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. One more time. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to be challenging us today and the next few weeks. We're going to be discussing on um, several dimensions of the supernatural. Uh, it includes our understanding of the glory, our understanding of ourselves. You see, the way God designed the kingdom, the way God designed spiritual progress is such that you know yourself by studying Jesus Christ. Are we together? The only way you know yourself is by studying Jesus Christ. Are we together? In the kingdom, your relevance and your person is a derivative of all that Christ is. So he is our project of pursuit. Please listen. He is our project of study. The Bible says looking up to Jesus. The word looking up does not just mean looking, paying attention, pegging your focus on him. It's the same description that was given in Acts chapter 4 when he said look on us. Pay attention. We're about to do something that will change your life. So he says looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher let me start by saying something there is a formula for growing spiritually please everyone pay attention god is making you become something mighty there is a formula for spiritual growth you do not grow spiritually just by prayer just by fasting just by studying the bible there is a formula are we together if you have cement sand and zinc do you have a house no you have the materials for a house but the construction requires that the foundation is below are we together 
and the zinc is above if you take the zinc and put it in the foundation zinc is required for building but does that make a house so many of us combine spiritual things we pray here we fast here we read our bibles here but what we are becoming is not christ it means that our combination to create the pattern that will make us like christ is faulty so there is prayer in our lives i agree are we together there is fasting in our lives i agree there is the study of the word there's studying books there is corporate fellowship but to what degree it's just like you're cooking rice you apply many ingredients but not at the same level and not in the same quantity are we together the quantity of rice you put is not the same quantity of salt are we together if you put all of them at that level as good as they are they will not produce that are we together so the first picture is to find out what god intends for you to become and that pattern man according to scripture is the christ not just jesus the christ there is a big difference between jesus and the christ jesus was made the christ god's anointed god's model for the believer are we together now now please listen and pay attention as i build on these things tonight because they are very important for our spiritual growth according to god's design for spiritual growth the journey of a believer hear me should always start with an encounter of the person christ not an encounter with prosperity not an encounter with healing not an encounter with breakthrough are we together now you must meet the person christ the encounter with the person christ is the only legitimate way to begin to navigate the kingdom properly if at any time you are found exploring spiritual growth outside of the encounter with the person in Christ, your growth will be imbalanced and you may delve into witchcraft. Are we together? Jesus said it this way, I am the way. In other words, it is when you meet me that you can be sure that the path you are taking is correct. Are we together now? There are so many believers, listen, who want to grow spiritually. But we think the secret to spiritual growth is just rema. Now, I've taught on different things. I've taught on principles of the kingdom. Are we together now? But let me tell you the truth. The foundation of spiritual growth is not principles. It's encounter. An encounter with a person, not his laws. A person. You can know the laws of tithing. You can know the laws of church growth. You can know all the laws that we have taught. And yet not know Jesus as a person. You can know him as a religious figure that you strolled on stage here to confess him. But you must encounter the person, Jesus. Are we together now? I think I was discussing, we're discussing this morning with Ejimi, how that, and I say this with all humility, I'm so touched seeing our people, this, the way God started out with us, please listen. This is a very strong foundation. The path of spiritual progress that God started with us. And that's the path I have led and taught people for years. And all those who have followed this path have grown properly. That is your spiritual journey. Listen, when you come into Christ, your first assignment is to pursue God with a reckless abandonment. Not to pursue financial principles. Are we together? Not to pursue relationship and love and marriage. Husband and wife. Right? Girlfriend. Concubine. All these kinds of things. Not to pursue them. Now, but the problem we have with the church now, and this is very serious. It's a serious issue. Is that you find believers who come to Christ. The moment they get born again, they never care to find out this person called Christ who is God's idea, God's pattern man. Are we together? What we do is we go and gather 
tapes which are important and we start indoctrinating ourselves with greek and hebrew words and start building our spiritual conviction on the fact that we are privy to certain informations and that we are able to quote scripture and then the moment we think we are anointed the next thing is we are thinking of starting ministry or we are thinking of relationship let me tell you something and i need you to hear this and learn because it's important you follow i was telling a jimmy years ago when you got born again in here and i here for a long time you had no business with men or women you didn't even know who was male or female are we together when you got born again there was fire everywhere fire there was no room to even see human beings all you saw was fire morning till night are we together our joke was the presence of god our fun was the presence of god it was never about rema it was never even about anointing it was never about ministry it was about a hungry people desperate for a revelation and an encounter are we together yes that was the foundation so people's prayer life was not just to get prophecy and go and give people and build churches I would, some of you were part of these things are we together but right now there is a lot of catastrophe happening in our spiritual growth the average person gets born again and in four months he has a son he has a daughter are we together now moving around calling everybody my son my daughter i am pastor this i am prophet this i am apostle this they now look for one 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 church somewhere and, and start yoking themselves to rent to start organizing evening service church service double service uh, um, morning and afternoon service and all kinds of things i am telling you this if you follow that pathway you will never find god there is a formula to finding god are we together that's why you find out that everyone by the grace of god that we raised regardless of what they are doing that there is a level of backsliding you can't get to because of how you were trained no matter how backward you are Kai, there is a level to which your conscience will not leave you the level of godliness we enforce was at a high standard even those we call backsliders are qualified to be pastors in many churches are we together yeah. but right now there are people who have no business looking for husband and wife that's their object of pursuit take what i'm saying very seriously there are some of us here let me tell you at your level of spiritual growth you shouldn't be looking at any woman whatsoever under no circumstance same thing for ladies because you see people got into relationships and married it was god himself that had to turn the faces of people and say look you have tried you have labored in my vineyard i think it's time to get married but right now people come to church from day one as they are sharing the grace you are pursuing somebody you don't know anything about how can we see now we are a member of koinonia that spirit will rob you of passion because your motive is not genuine are we together so the object they were people who never had revelation but they had presence you come close to them you know they know god they may not be able to explain everything yet they don't understand the principle we walk in many results way before we understood the dynamics our hunger took us to that level it was later on god started saying this is what you are doing and we said ah so this is it because you see when you love god you are not looking for what to get from him you want to walk with him is god helping us so i think that's the number one thing we have to correct i can tell you over 70 percent of our prayer requests here is tied to things we want not the pursuit of god counseling that time was not this guy doesn't love me there is Emeka, there is Gideon, there is Gabriel. Which one is the will of God? It was never, almost never part of counseling. Counseling was, I had an encounter yesterday. I need you to explain to me. Are we together? 
I searched a scripture and while I was studying the glory of God came upon me sir what is the meaning of that we look forward to night times because night times were officially the times of Holy Ghost baptism so everybody will get people filled with the Holy Spirit and will discuss it but right now you see a lot of people supposedly with a love for God listen to me very carefully but that hunger that appetite for spiritual things is even those who we call men of God are looking for revelation because it looks like in our generation of the is revelation that will give you a seat let me tell you there is a dimension revelation stops it will take presence brothers and sisters ah so we do not know the God we claim to represent we even fast and pray but our motives are corrupt we are fasting because you are saying kind I've been intimidated I saw a Jimmy giving a word of knowledge Abba if it's the kingdom it's also for me and then we go to fast are we together now and there is pride and arrogance people don't sit down to listen and learn the word again everybody is a man of God are we together everybody is a man of God we are only colleagues trying to grow together that dangerous and devilish spirit we must cast it out of the church in this city around and as far as God's grace can take and we cast it in the name of Jesus are you hearing what I'm saying now the foundation of your spiritual pursuit cannot be things I see how many of us are obsessed with money we want to do well every time you look at people you see a Jimmy's tie and you are wondering how many thousand is this tie when we were together that time nobody cared who your father was we sat on the floor it wasn't even in a carpet on the floor how you will know people were madly in love with God was we had some of our ladies that we would call Ajebo ladies you see those ladies rolling in the sand under the anointing with their hair and all their guy and they love God in the rain you heard David sharing his testimony that sometimes in the rain it was not about noticing me but now you see Christians we say pray in tongues you pray for five minutes you are cleaning your mouth whether there's saliva honestly in my opinion you are not going far I can guarantee you is God helping us this is a series to challenge us God desires men and women who have paid the price to be his image carriers reflectors of his person but there is a key it does not start with looking for rema it starts with a hunger for a person i hunger and thirst for you a dry and weary land for all i want is you when I started out in ministry, I didn't know they used to give honorarium. Listen, I never knew they used to give honorarium. Years ago, I was invited to a church not too far from Philly Seidu here. We were living in front there. It was raining heavily and I knew God's people needed to listen. I was so passionate. I prayed, I fasted, I prepared and the rain was heavy. And you know the way that place is, there was a pool of water. And I said, no, nothing will stop me from blessing people. It's a privilege to bless God's people. A derivative of my love for God, not pursuit of ministry. I came out in the rain. I was praying in tongues with joy and with my Bible. It was Steve Strings who saw me around the church. He came out with an umbrella to stop me. I was quite humiliated in that service, but I didn't care. It was a privilege. Are we together? we inconvenienced ourselves with joy i remember one time when we were preparing for crusade we needed a lot of money our hunger for god a jimmy then he was the only one among us who had computer right and he put it up for sale put it up for sale passion and hunger but today we see the results of people we do not want their hunger but we want their results how foolish are we together 
There are many ladies who come to church now and you, you may see people like Shade, all these ladies that have been with us. You just think, oh, they just love God. These ladies were trained like men. We didn't train anybody. It was not gender. If we prayed for five hours, whoever was there, child, boy, girl, will participate. That was how people were built. Is God speaking to us? Let me tell you why many of us have not been able to experience the glory of God in our lives. It's not just about getting Rema, packaging 10,000, kneeling down to receive a quick impartation. You now run and go and tell your members, I just came from Zaria. You can't imagine what I'm carrying. No. A hunger. Everybody say hunger. Shout it, hunger. A hunger for God that drives you to his presence our fasting was not for things i'm telling you it was truly to know him then we had our spots when it was daytime everybody had his corner those to the dam those on top of buildings are we together i was telling a jimmy one of our tiny ladies she was very very small very small you see her around two o'clock with her rechargeable don muen song to put on her socks very tiny it's as if the rechargeable was 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 a bag of rice that's how she will hold it and that lady will come out around four and don't forget that there was lecture in the morning but people traveled it was a sacrifice and a passionate love for god but you get born again and you say lord i'm born again where is the man 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 you hear discussions of believers love relationship uh, marriage children Hapa. as if god is irresponsible sisters hear me i'm challenging you i'm telling you the quickest way to get a husband forget about it and pursue god let every man come and meet you ardently in love with god let god be the one to give you to a man you keep giving yourself and, and you see what happens you let him give you and for our brothers listen i've challenged us on establishment i've challenged us in many things but let me tell you there is no establishment outside of an encounter with god because demons are real you can build the house you can buy the car but you need an encounter are we together everybody shout i need an encounter this is the foundation people had dreams not i don't mean dreams of i'm a champion dreams of i am pressing into god you would see people who would get born again the lifespan of catching fire was one week after seven days i'll never forget you remember a jimmy one gentleman who used to sleep on the bridge remember that man that man got born again filled with the holy spirit he was addicted he would sit down inside chapel from morning till night he was sleeping under the bridge in flyover that's the kind of fire if you were born again, your born again had to be genuine. There was a strict system you passed through. From being born again straight, there was a brief session and then filled with the Holy Ghost. You, you will pray, we will hear. If we don't verify, we'll do it again. You had to be praying in fluent tongues. And there was a system that engaged your spirit. Everybody around you was too serious for carnality to find expression. You talked about women you'll be alone because everybody was searching the bible our discussions was he hades or gehenna that was our discussion but you hear people who just got born again i'm challenging us this is the reason why several people may not find god ministry ask a jimmy how many people spoke to me about churches and branches you remember sir Oh, man of God, PFN were willing to give us an auditorium, trained pastors just to come and start a church. And I went back and God said, no, you will die. We were so obsessed with seasons. We denied ourselves certain doors, even though they were open to wait for seasons. But right now, everybody wants glorification, wants lifting. Hmm? A lady of 25 under pressure time is passing 25 a brother of 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 27 in in four months you have asked 20 ladies out 
What is wrong with you? Are we together? Look at pastors. Pastors don't, don't they don't press into God. You never see them having retreat. They are watching football. They are traveling. They are doing ministry. What ministry do you have outside of his presence? Are we together? Daytime was for study. Nighttime was for ministry. That's what we did. I know how people run away if they even call you pastor. Pastor this. We, we, we run away from it. But some of us quarrel everybody. You are calling me what? What did I hear you call me? John. Me? The day you try that thing again, I will curse you. God truly found our hearts. We loved him with everything. Are we together? That time, the cooler ministry was not for relationship. The cooler ministry was to propagate encounters. Because we're tired, laboring there. Sometimes they would look and our sisters would carry cooler. It was not that they were looking for husband. It was their contribution. The ministry of Dorcas. Genuinely for fire. Please, Koinonia, hear me. I'm telling you the truth from the depth of my heart. When you find God, you find wealth. When you find God, you find relevance. When you find God, you find everything. Are we together? Yes. My first challenge for us as we attempt to build this series is return to the place where you seek God. Write this down. What is an encounter? An encounter is not necessarily a vision. An encounter is not necessarily a, a supernatural transportation to the realm of heaven. That's not what I'm talking about necessarily. An encounter, listen, is an experience you have with God that furnishes the reality of his person. The reality. An encounter is God making himself real to you. Revealing his presence to you. Whether in, a, in the secret place, whether as you labor in the study of the word, are we together? People who were non-Christians, when they got born again in two weeks, because of the atmosphere of encounter, their lives changed. That's why people like Mama came. And you see what God is doing with him. Today he has become a great and mighty man of God. Encounters. Are we together? Pregnant women had testimonies that while teaching was going on, their children would just keep quiet. No movement, no pushing. Until it was time for prayers. Let me tell us the truth. There is too much distraction. This is what stops the voice of God. This is what stops a lot of things. We are distracted. I'm not necessarily talking, of, when I talk of distraction, I'm not necessarily talking of maybe immorality like drunkenness necessarily. We are distracted looking for things around God and not himself. We are studying the seven rivers of power. Why not study him as a person? We pride ourselves at these things. So you find out that people mock themselves with messages. We come and preach messages we do not have the experience to defend. Is God speaking to us? Please, if you are a pastor here or you are in ministry, listen to me. Return to the place of encounter. That's your greatest publicity. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. Lead me, Lord, I will. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, 
I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. Be me, Lord. I will go. God desires to reveal His glory. God desires. Listen. He did not just save us to take us to heaven. Please, I'd like you to pay attention to what I'm sharing with you. God did not save us just so we can become Christians. His intention was to make us revelations of his glory. Write that word glory down. The word glory is from the Hebrew word kabod. The Greek is doxa. And the expression of the word glory is the essence of a man. Whatever makes that man who he is, his wealth, his wisdom, his intelligence, is called his glory. So God's desire, the eternal counsel of God, is that Christ becomes a reflection of the glory of the Father. The church, the ecclesia, in partnership with the Holy Spirit, now becomes the revelation of the glory of the Christ. Christ has reflected the glory of the Father in his death burial and resurrection his exaltation what is left right now is for the church to align so much with the spirit that we become perfect reflectors of the glory of christ another word for glory is the possibilities of a man a man's glory is the extent of his possibilities so god wants us to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities. Glory can never be appreciated until it is revealed. Until it is revealed. Until it is made manifest. The word became flesh. Right? The word locked up in the realm of the spirit became flesh. And dwelt among men. He says, and we beheld his glory. God desires for his glory to be seen. He desires for his multifaceted dimension to find expression in every territory. But that dimension, the conduits, the custodians of the glory of God are not things, not handkerchiefs, not Goya oils, human beings. Are we together? God's predeterminate counsel is for every one of us under the sound of my voice to become perfect reflectors, manifestors of a divine life, a divine reality. That transcends this realm. The glory of God is a revelation of everything that makes God God. So when miracles happen, that's the glory of God finding expression. Are we together? Yeah. When signs and wonders happen, and some, in Isaiah 40, the Bible says that God desires, we were made for his glory, that all flesh will see it. But there is a pathway that brings the sons of light to glory. This is what I am teaching us. I really desire that our lives become limitless conduits, communicators of all the dimensions that can be in Christ. So when men look at you, you are half man and half something else because you are a communicator of a reality that is beyond this realm. Your life is supernatural in every way. Because you are functioning from a realm, a possibility and a reality. You are reflecting a man who is not limited. Only limited by our disalignment. Is God speaking to us? John chapter 2. The wedding in Cana. Let's look at verse 11. The Bible stated something very important there. Is God blessing us already? Tonight's teaching is going to challenge us. John 2, let's just look at verse 11. Everyone please read. One, two, read. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and did what? Stop. Hold on. It says Jesus used miracles as a conduit to manifest his glory. When he performed these miracles, it was a turning of water to wine are we together now the bible says in doing that 
because he aligned to the father so much to an extent that the father could find expression through him to do an impossible thing he said he manifested forth his glory as a result his disciples believed him let me translate this to you as a result the convictions of men over god became stronger you know why our convictions are very small there are very few dispensers of the glory of god are we together there are very few people who are truly prototypes of the possibilities that can be in god you see the wisdom of men like ordinary people their intelligence like ordinary people what everybody is crying about is what you cry about there is nothing supernatural about your life you are not a dispenser of the glory your words are empty as empty as any philosopher's words no backing no authority no power no government no throne nothing backs you this beginning of miracles he said did jesus just verse 11 and he said he manifested his glory and as a result the disciples believed they believed the essence of the faith life is not just to go to heaven the essence of the faith life it's not just to capture us from sin to become heaven bound god's ultimate desire that will never change is that he will find a people who can be an expression of all that christ is it is god's desire that his multifaceted possibilities all the dimensions that make him god he wants it to find expression here his healing his wealth his miracles the possibilities everything so Christ is our model the same way Christ aligned to reflect the glory of the father right in John 17 don't turn there we'll turn there later on Jesus was speaking and he said father he said now glorify thy son to the end that thy son will glorify you by reflecting your glory in theology we call it the reflection principle where you reflect the glory of your superior and the one below you is the one who reflects your glory you never reflect your glory you reflect the glory of the one you submit to so jesus reflects the glory of the father the church reflects the glory of the son the systems reflect the glory of the church this is the eternal counsel of god but there is something wrong because our understanding does not permit God to go with us to that extent where he can reflect his glory to us. So there is little of healing, little of prosperity, little of alignment, little of result from prayer, little in a congregation of 5,000 people, you have two testimonies. It's a shame to the revelation of the glory of God. I know we clap about it and we thank God, but honestly, it is a shame. Are we together? God's glory cries for expression. He wants everything that he is to find expression through our lives. But the question is, are you willing to let your life become a conduit of that glory? Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. When there was a storm, everybody waited for the arrival of Jesus because his arrival was a revelation of the kingdom. The kingdom had come right when he stepped into a house they knew there was a miracle who what do we expect when you show up trouble blessings if i shake your hand pastor femi come please if pastor femi shakes my hand should something not change in my life but does it happen you see the reason why they don't value your shake because it never produced any result. The last time you prayed for somebody, they begged you and said, pray for me. You prayed and nothing happened. You met them after a long time. You said, any result? You said, absolutely nothing. I don't know what you did to me, but from that prayer, my life just knows die. There is no manifestation of the glory. There is an extent of glory by the grace of God that we have been able to manifest. And this is what is responsible 
for everyone coming to sit down. You are coming to behold a dimension of the glory. Are we together? When there are healings, there are miracles, when the word of God comes and its power to transform, it is a revelation of glory. When a barren woman all of a sudden gets healed, is a revelation of a dimension of God. When you master the laws of kingdom wealth and in an economy that is nose diving, your life is rising up like the ark of Noah. Something is different about your life. That's the revelation of the glory of God. The idea is not just heaven. The idea is a flawless life based on our alignment to the Christ. Is God speaking to us? Jesus is the revelation of the Father's glory. And the church was designed to be the revelation of the glory of the Christ here on earth. The ecclesia, the church, the Catholic church, the universal church. We were designed by God to be the reflectors. In other words, anytime people need to see Jesus, they should look for a Christian. Did you know that our presence should stop the frustration in the earth because we are the representatives of the government of Christ. So in every territory, when there is any challenge, when somebody sees a Jimmy, they say, thank God. What dimension of the glory of God has been committed to him? They are sure that that dimension will be dispensed and there will be solutions. But we are largely part of the problem in the earth. And this is why our voices are not heard as the church of God. We are part of the many world's religions. Nothing supernatural about our lives. They shake you. Somebody sleeps on the same bed with you. Demons oppress him the way they have been oppressing him from his room before he came. There is no presence of the divine life. There is no presence of an atmosphere. Oh, come on. No, it should never happen that way. The Bible says there is this treasure. Where? Not in heaven. In earthen vessels. There is this treasure in earthen vessels. Carriers of the divine life. Communicating something very deep and very spiritual. That is who you are. If you think you are just a Christian who is, should just be planted you know, to a church. Taking communion on Sunday. Praying during prayer meetings. You will short circuit your understanding and the revelation of Christ in you. Everyone say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, my life must reflect the glory, the power, the wisdom, the life, the possibilities of Christ Jesus. Yes. When people are stranded, the moment you show up, you bring a reality. Your speakings, right? It says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. It says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So that when you come up and you begin to speak, I never expect to speak and you say, wow, that was an interesting contribution. No, because I'm speaking by the Spirit. Are we together? Yes. This is the foundation of true spiritual growth. The rewards of an encounter with Christ. The glory of God finds greater space in and through your life. You become a blessing. Everybody wants to be around you because that's what happened to Jesus Christ. They don't have to know you. Let me tell you one way you know the glory of God is on you. You become what the Bible calls delightsome. Have you heard that word delightsome? Delightsome does not mean beautiful and men are following you for marriage or, or you have money in your pocket and ladies want you to marry them into a life of peace. That's not what I'm talking about. That there is something on your life. It's magnetic. People come to sit down close to you and say, I don't know why. I've never shared this with anybody, but there is a challenge in my life. There is the glory of God. Dogs are a revelation of his person in you. This series is meant to, uh, to not just challenge you, but also activate something in your life. Are we together? Say, I'm a dispenser of the glory of God. Say one more time, I'm a dispenser of the glory of God. John 11 verse 40. 
Jesus said something remarkable. That was the story of the resurrection of Lazarus from the dead. John 11. Let's look at verse 40. Please read it together. Everyone is projected for time's sake. One to read. Jesus said unto her, Sayeth I not unto thee, that if thou would believe, thou should what? If thou will believe. The key to experiencing the glory of God in your life is your conviction. Do you believe? Do you believe that you can see? Jesus said it himself. He said, if you can believe, nothing will stop you from seeing my glory. You can see my glory in prayer. You can see my glory in signs and wonders if you believe. The word believe is a very interesting word because it's not just the word agree. It's the word conviction. You can it's not just an awareness like I agree with you, but I am persuaded about this reality. Pastor Femi is a pastor of Rema. I am persuaded. I'm not trying to agree. I, I know it is true. And nobody can convince me otherwise. That's what it means to believe. Faith now becomes the action you take based on that conviction. Are we together? Jesus himself said, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So if I believe, my body can become a superconductor of the anointing and the presence of God. And the same way, brothers and sisters, if I have tuberculosis and I come close to a Jimmy, what will happen to him? Please answer me. What will happen to him? We call them communicable diseases, right? Because they can be transferred. It's not whether he agrees with me or not. I am a carrier of that disease. He just needs to come to the atmosphere. And he's implicated. He gets tuberculosis. Are we together? That means I can carry divine health. And come close to him. I've not prayed for him. And make it communicable. I can carry divine wisdom. Are we together? And you come and greet me. We talk for five minutes. You live with a level of intelligence you cannot account for. I'm not just talking of praying for people. I'm talking of them being implicated by the atmosphere you have created. Your alignment has created an atmosphere that does not leave people the same. So someone does not even know he's sick. It is your atmosphere that shows him he's sick. When he comes, he leaves and says, my goodness. So this thing I've been carrying is pain. I thought everybody has it. Hi. Are we together? Years ago, one gentleman was helping me wash my clothes. He was so happy. He just soaked the clothes. As soon as he soaked the clothes, we lift it up. That's how the power of God just carried him. That was the end of that washing for a very long time. The Bible says handkerchiefs. Right? You believe that? Acts 19. Handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of Peter handkerchiefs and aprons it's not this thing we do in church where we just call people out and wave handkerchief mm -mm, solve problems solve real life problems if you can wave it like that then speak over the person's financial crisis bring it to an end that's authority that's a sign that there is a government that backs you so someone comes and tells you 11 years we've been barring you say it doesn't matter they say why because triplets are coming are you getting the point? Oh, you can be that confident. That's how to become a blessing to people. And so they say, please, how can we locate mama? Because they know that their own is just to find where you are. When they find you, even if you are passing. When prophet Samuel met Saul, he said, come inside and I will show you everything in your heart. That's a dispenser of a reality. When people are sick and they see you, do they get excited or do they just thank you for visiting and grieving with them? Are we together? Listen, we must rise from the realm of counseling to miracles, to results. Don't just counsel people. It's all right. We live in a generation where who doesn't know times are hard. To a point where when people see you, 
they said you prayed for me jimmy i don't know what you said but from monday till sunday I was receiving testimonies of financial breakthrough as it was happening to me it was happening to my mother please have come again men are implicated because of the atmosphere you carry please hear me i'm not motivating you these are realities that god wants you to walk in this is how you become the light of the world it's not just by talking and saying i'm a christian you know why our our worth in christ is very small as far as people interpret it because we pray so much but our result is very little hallelujah that's why we share testimonies these testimonies are a revelation of what the glory of god has done in the lives of people there are certain possibilities that is granted us access to and they have produced results in the lives of people so you see incurable disease is going by another possibility say after me all things are possible say it all things are possible but not for everyone Yes, you must agree with this. All things are not possible for everyone. Your possibility is a measure of the glory of God that can find expression in you. Are we together? That is why encounter is so important. Because encounter is the spiritual activity that truly builds faith in you. Listen, faith comes by hearing. Do you hear what you read? Answer me please. Do you hear what you read? When I read the Bible, do I hear anything? That means beyond this reading. There is a reality that should find expression in my spirit. Mama, come and collect phone. Did you hear me? So it's not that you were rebellious. If I'm talking and you didn't hear me, will you just stand up and come? So many people say, I don't know if I had God or not. You didn't hear. Are we together? Because his voice is louder than the voice of every devil. And you can come and collect it. Mama, and give me this phone. You had it. This happens in the place of encounter. You don't roam around this noisy valley of this world and expect to hear God with clarity. Your landlord is making noise. Your village is making noise. Wickedness making noise. Carnality is making noise. You won't hear him that way, brothers and sisters. Are we together? I really am challenging us. Another thing that i think is responsible for people not paying attention to god is we have this idea that paying attention to god is a waste of time in terms of achieving our destiny i don't know who deceived us with that understanding that please come two of us start out on a spiritual journey look at me everyone two of us start out on a spiritual journey are we together and then this guy keeps moving just move slowly right and then i feel i am behind because that guy wants to start a church he wants to marry he wants to move forward he wants to do this and you are here with god we call this delay we call this waste of time and sometimes we say Kai, god honestly this you're always talking to me i don't want you to waste my time let me tell you the thing with god when he's done with you you will not walk that's the thing no the bible says immediately jesus entered the boat they were at the other side no process immediately as soon as he entered the boat they appeared there that's the god of all flesh so there are people who started their journey they didn't wait to find out from god what are the rules of the engagement they just got up i must make it my share in this life what is my own is my own and all these foolish things we keep talking and they have marked time somewhere in life with six children now whereas somebody who they were looking at as wasting time now is walking on the wings of the spirit moving as if satan does not exist because he stayed to master the art of war before he started moving it pays to stay with god the fastest way to make impact is to stay with god not to look for endorsement not to print invitation card and say jimmy invite me i'm a very intelligent entrepreneur invite me koinonia give me the mic let me lead praise and worship once and even you you will know that kai god has children no we will never give you mic in jesus name 
because it means you are deficient in training. Listen, never be ashamed if others go and leave you. You are actually running. You don't know. Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and go. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And then instead of him to run too, he waited. And the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon him. He guarded his loins and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. Do you want to stay with God and let him file you and you get up and move in power? Or do you want to join this rat race people are doing in life? They take two steps and mark time there. So there is a pile of people who started their journey but cannot move because they do not understand the art of the war. I make up my mind to wait. I make up my mind to wait. Are we together? So that by the time I start moving, I will move at a speed and at a pace that will grant me capacity to do much for the kingdom. Moses was about to move, but he said, Lord, do not send me. I know that the people need to get to the promised land, but I'm also aware that there are all kinds of obstacles. Lord, don't send me. I have questions to ask you. I like Moses. Moses asked God questions. The same thing Gideon did. Gideon said, you are sending me to go and defeat the Midianites. Oh Lord, you are king, but I'm a man. Let me ask you intelligent questions. Prove to me, oh, look, stay in the secret place and ask God every question. What happens when my finances dry up as a man of God? God, give me the secret now. Not when it happens there. What happens when somebody... Is about to crash under the hands of the enemy. I cannot see it. And he shows you the mystery. When you take them like keys, you can tell the gate of destiny be opened. And the moment you start moving, you move like a general in the kingdom. When others stand, there is a strategy that you can find expression. We will wait upon the Lord. For in his presence, this fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, I'll share with you just one key tonight. The key I want to share with you, I'll share with you many other keys. When you want to grow spiritually and become a reflector, the first key is death. John 12. John 12. Let's read 23 and 24. John 12. God is raising mighty and powerful people in this place. John 12. Now watch this. There is a relationship between death and glory. Please look at me. Never forget what I told you. There is a relationship in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of power, in the realm of impact, in the realm where men do business with God. There is a relationship between death and glory. Years ago, a lady met me and shared with me a dream. And that dream was going to launch her into a season of dealings with God. And I knew it was not going to be an easy time for her. But I spoke with her, I told her, grace for you. And the next two years or so of that lady's life would be times of intense pruning and testing and maturing. But after that time, God brought a vessel that was worthy of honor. The Bible says, Jesus, not an angel, answered them saying, the hour is come that the son of man should be what? So we're talking about glorification. The time has come for you people to know how powerful my father is. The time has come for all of you to see the multifaceted dimensions of the might of Yahweh. You've heard about him. Your father's told you. You are about to see it now. Next verse. But for this to happen... He said, verily, verily, I say unto you, 
This is the mystery that will make me glorified. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and faints and goes through coma and dies. He said it abides alone, unprofitable. He says, but if it dies, it bringeth forth what? How do you produce much fruit in the kingdom? By your death. Hmm. Let me tell you, only dead men carry the glory. Only dead men carry the glory. What that means is you must come to a point where you die to your ambitions. You die to your aspirations. You die to your formulas. You die to the conditions you give God. Lord, I give you two weeks. If you don't bless me, you are not king of kings. Uh -uh. Two weeks will pass. You will not be blessed. You will say, okay, God, I give you one month. I've extended it for you. As if you are, you are giving God grace. And at the end of it, you say, Lord, you know what? Even if it's in 10 years, you don't bless me. I love you. You have died. You have died to those conditions you give God. Lord, I'm sweeping your church. You better be looking at me. Wipe my tears as I'm wiping the tears in your own house too. That is true. But if that is the reason why you are sweeping the church, you are wasting your time. Are we together? Death means losing nothing around your life controls your passion for God. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not money, not lack of it. Not fame, not lack of it. Not ministry, not lack of it. You come to a point in your life where he is all in all. That's death. It doesn't mean physical death. But let me tell you, it can be painful. Because the process in the spirit with which a man relinquishes his will is very hard. No man gives it to God just like that. You can only give God permission to take it. For you are God alone From before time began You are on your throne You are God alone And right now Through the good times and bad You are on your throne You are God alone Let me tell you something there are many ways to know a spiritual man. Prayer and tongues and rema are the foundational ways to know a man of God or a man of the spirit. The chiefest way to know a man of the spirit is through his cars. The testament of his sacrifice. The testament of his handing over the management of his life to God. How he trusted God for certain things and they did not happen. And he still said, Lord, you are glorified. That's spirituality. Not preaching. Are we together? You frustrate Satan. You've heard me say this. There is no way I know in terms of its, its highest level of impact to frustrate Satan than to give God glory in the midst of your pain. Lord, you seem so far away A million miles on what it seems today And though I haven't lost my faith I must confess right now That it's hard for me to pray That's somebody's condition in this place listening to me But I don't know what to say I don't know where to start but as you give the grace With all that's in my heart I will sing And I will praise Even in my darkest time Through the sorrow and the pain I will sing Sing it from your heart I will pray Regardless of what is around me I lift my hands to honor you. Because One more time. Help me. I will sing. I will sing. That's how spiritual men are made. They defy circumstances. Their love for God is not tied to anything. And I 
I will pray. I may cry, but I will still pray. I lift my hands to honor you. Because your word is true. I will sing. Hear me. You don't become a spiritual man when Mike is given to you. You become a spiritual man when you can look at someone you trusted God for their healing and they died and you say Lord I'm standing in front of this grave and you are still God you challenge Satan are we together you expected five points you went to the board and you saw four carryovers and you know you must try an extra session and you say Lord I won't pretend I know I prayed but Lord, I want you to know that you have won my heart. I'm too addicted. This is too small a reason to come in between me and you. And you're, you are promoted in the spirit. Because that is your death. God is saying, who is this that is calling on me? He said, gather unto me my saints. Psalm 50 verse 5. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let me show you how God brought us to where we are. It was never a thing of hoping for results. There was no other plan B. I never had plan B with God. If it doesn't go well with him, let me just die there. I like Esther. She said, if I perish. Let me tell you, many of us have plan B. There's one leg in God, but you are hooking the other leg in case God disappoints you. If you do not bless me, let the world laugh at me. If koinonia does not grow, let us remain a subject of mockery. But it will never, never, ever. See, change this, your anger and annoyance over God. Lord, I trust you. I've been serving in your house. If I... Uh, 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 spiritual men never get angry with God. There are men who have died. When you come to a dead man, watch this. When you are removing the trouser of a dead man, will he get up and say, stop? Huh? When you are removing the money in his pocket, no. That's how to die. If God says, son, I need your phone. You hand it over and say, where is it? All things. A man can have nothing except it is given to him. All this, our greedy lifestyle is a sign that we are alive in ourselves. That's why we never see the attention of God. Listen, whether God keeps his anointing in heaven or in you, he's comfortable because it's still the same thing to him. You are that yielded. It's like two stores of a man. You know how people do business. They can tell you, I have a branch in Kaduna. I have a branch in Lagos. Any one of them will give you the same result. Can God say, I have this grace in heaven, but I still have one on the earth. Go and meet that person. You will get the same result. As though you were praying to me. Because he's that aligned. Death. One of the most painful but most powerful keys of carrying the glory. You can jack yourself and claim, I have the glory, you will waste your time until a corn of wheat falls down and dies. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I tell you the truth and I lie not. There is nothing God makes a demand of in my life that I cannot give him. Ask him. You don't want to know the things God has demanded in my life anything you cannot give God is the reason why you will not host his glory at that level if God tells me give me koinonia I will pack it up like a cloth put it in a nylon bag and hand it over to God immediately not after a meeting immediately if he tells me this is the last time you should be preaching all the ministrations will be cancelled with an apology you know why many of us die we are the ones responsible for everything in our lives. So we die. He says, come unto me, all ye that are what? Weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Everybody say death. Say it. There are many people's training in the body of Christ. We don't teach people the mystery of death. And then they expect glory. The Bible talks of the sufferings of Christ. And the glory that should follow. Are we together? Yes. Romans chapter 8, please. From verse 18 and 19. For I 
reckon that the what? The constraints. That's what we call it. Let me be a sacrifice. What's the other part of that song? Just that part. My life to worship you. Just sing that part for me. That's the song in my spirit. That's the scripture here. Let this be a sacrifice. Let me dedicate my life to worship you. Where you become a living sacrifice. It says, listen, hold on. For I reckon, I come to terms. There is no other way. You can choose your way. The prison is full of people who chose their own methods to life. Are we together? They chose to jump fence. They chose to point guns at people. That was their way. The Bible said there is a way that seemeth right. There is a way. It may be popular, but it's wrong. Let me tell you, the way of the throne is the cross. You will never get to the throne until you go through the cross. I know this is not an attractive message. Don't allow people to fool you. The cross is the way to the throne. There is something that happens to you at the cross that qualifies you for the throne. The way to the throne is when you face Goliath. He does something to you. Whenever you pray for a throne, Goliath is coming. Until you qualify, you will not sit on that throne. I speak to you a mystery that makes men careers of power. When you speak, it's as if heaven owes you a debt they must pay not everyone listen the centurion said for i am a man under authority he said i say unto one go i say unto one come death not rema not greek word not logos not kairos not chronos uh -uh. none of those things will replace true fire the secret place where there is a testimony of death Galatians 2.20, please. He said, for I am crucified with Christ. That's the realm. You have died to your ambitions. You have died to your aspirations. Whether you call me Pastor Josh, Prophet Josh, Apostle Josh, whatever. <clears throat> no longer do you have that appetite to do anything that is outside of God. Your life revolves around his will. His wish is literally your command. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Then he says, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And then he says, and this life that I live in the flesh, that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Not faith in the Son of God. The very faith of the Son of God who loved me. And gave himself for me. Have you gotten to that point where you are dead to yourself? Look, you will not lay hands on the sick and say, Be healed. I'm a Christian. Jesus died for me. Be healed. We keep mocking ourselves before demons. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. I see the scars in them. I see them pass through the cross. But he said, Who are you? You just jump from nowhere and think because your father is a priest, a priest that looks like a herbalist, do you inherit that? No. Listen, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Everything is given, but not as gifts. There are some things that are given as rewards. Unto us a son is born, but unto us, unto us a child is born, but unto us a son is given. And the government will rest upon the shoulder of the sun. A symbol of authority. Are we together? It says, an heir as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors. God is challenging us tonight. Right? Anointed to reveal his glory. In the course of the series, I'm going to be teaching you something powerful about the anointing. I tell you, your life will catch fire. It's time for us to step into greater levels. There is so much God wants to do with us. Give him space. Koinonia, give him space. God wants to find expression. Let me tell you something. When you get to a point where you can speak over a man's life and change his destiny, you are really powerful. You are really powerful. Where you can use words 
to veto the limitations in men's lives who is this that the winds and the waves obey him he didn't carry cane michael where are you this wind is stubborn he stood and said shalom shalom the centurion said uh -uh. i look at you and you are not representing yourself you are under authority you are a reflector of the glory of the father huh? i am also a man under authority i know how powerful my government is on the strength of that power i can tell one go and he will go when you tell things go and they don't go they are sending a message to you that you must admit if you tell sickness go and it does not go it is speaking back to you where is your authorization like passport you are traveling out you smuggled your way and this custom stop you somewhere are we together you put your clothes in a bag with with clothes and as you are smuggling yourself out they trap you what is the question they are going to ask you they're not going to ask you your name what is your passport your symbol of authorization what gives you access to move from one dimension to the other and if they cross check and find out that you are an illegal person what happens they deport you you are not even there yet but they send you back even if you cross over to another country one day when they catch you there what did they do they be, that's, there are many people being deported in this season because they never went there correctly they used some manipulations and they jumped and experienced power for two weeks that's why you think they are using charm it's not charm they didn't follow the right path so they must be sent back the thing that makes me fear god is that even if you are 20 years the day you decide to walk with him you will go back and start correctly god doesn't do double promotion you pass through every class one by one and write every exam in god's class 90 over 100 is not a everything he teaches is necessary for your future it's not like the way we are you can get here and go in god's class you you will clap for you for the ones you have passed but you will rewrite the exams till you pass there that's why 40 days became 40 years until they passed every course he was teaching them are we together we are going to pray tonight i'll stop here and we're going to pray god has been speaking to me about the things that he wants to do this is our year of multiplied um, grace and influence hallelujah god wants to reveal greater glory you already seen it happening in the testimonies and the rest but you see any true man of god does not want to rise alone are we together we must all rise together where our words become like the words of god the bible says the words of samuel was like the word of god when he spoke none of his word fell to the ground what a man what a man there are some of our family members right now we are the only reflectors of the glory of christ as far as they are concerned are we together we left many of our loved ones and some of them are practically on their way to perishing in every wise sickness finances spiritually but god tonight wants to anoint you and through this series he's going to be guiding you are we together so that he will anoint you i trust god that by miracle service this month some people would have entered some strange dimensions strange spiritual dimensions you can know something has entered your hand all this acting we keep acting do you know i'm anointed no you are not it should be very clear the anointing is like light there is light here if you ever have to ask one person do you know i'm anointed i'm telling you it's not there oh it should be very clear as clear as light is from darkness tonight we are going to pray but before we pray i want you to admit that you have limited the reflection of the glory in your life in many ways there are so many possibilities we should have entered as men of god as individuals are we together so it's very important close your eyes in one minute before we pray i see the presence of god strong already here I want you to just reflect in one minute 
on what I've said. Is my life giving God room to manifest His glory? How have I brought shame and disappointment to the name of God? Because I have bragged being a Christian. I've stood near sick people and nothing has happened. I prayed in my family. They have been mocking God. They've been mocking Koinonia. I dared them, but I prayed and nothing happened. Pray. Lord, things must change. My Christian life has been barren for too long. I need an encounter. A true encounter. I'm tired of faking it. I need something solid. Shalom, shalom, Jehovah, shalom, shalom, you're welcome in my life, shalom, shalom, Jehovah, shalom, shalom, you're welcome in my life. Shalom, shalom, Jehovah, shalom, shalom, you're welcome in my life. more time shalom and then we'll pray shalom shalom jehovah shalom shalom you're welcome in my life welcome the new dimensions in god allow the glory of God find expression in your life somebody is going to die because of it a day will come you will meet a sick person and there is no Joshua Selman there is no koinonia a day will come you will be desiring certain dimensions of his power a day will come you'll be desiring certain dimensions I'm here to charge you as you begin to pray certain things will begin to shift in your life lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit just pray in tongues Shabrakata Baradus Shebrekatele Barapata Reflectors of the glory, careers of a reality. Shaba Barata Barada Balada Bagada Shebrekate Barada Balada Rekete Brava Bada Bada My life must be a conduit 
my life must be a reflection of your possibilities. My life must be a reflection of your wisdom, your power, your wealth, your might, your intelligence. My life must be supernatural in every sense. Make sure you're praying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. I like you to pray and say, Lord, I need power in my life. I'm tired of a natural life. I know there is a dimension of power, true spiritual power that can land upon my life and make the difference. Lift your voice and cry. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Cry for power. Scatter la There are giants on every mountain. It takes power to move mountains. It takes power to move mountains. Spiritual power, spiritual power, spiritual power, the unction, the unction from the Almighty that makes you supernatural, the unction. Cry, Lord, the release of power. Like the dew of heaven, I need power in my life. My life is too natural. My words are too natural. My business is too natural. My family is too natural. I cry for the supernatural dimension of my success. The supernatural dimension. I invoke the supernatural dimension of the equation of my life. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Listen. Listen. Guys, listen. The Bible says, know ye not that your body, not just your spirit, your God has been mocked too many times. There's no power in our lives. No, no. You pray for the sick, nothing happens. You speak, your words are empty. We keep mocking ourselves. God is going to touch somebody here. Now, now, all those things, we fool ourselves. Listen, we're going to cry. There is spiritual power, authentic unction from the throne. It can land on a man's life. It can land on a lady's life. And the difference becomes clear. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. Lift your voice and cry. Lord for power. Lord for power. Lord for power. Unction. Unction. Grace. Unction. Let my prayers command results. Unction. Let my words carry power, carry change. Pray. Send it to oh God like the dew from heaven. Send it to oh God upon my life. Pray. Pray. 
I'm tired of an ordinary life. I'm tired of an ordinary life. That supernatural dimension. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and then we are done. Be sensitive now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to fall on people. I believe that God is going to be activating things. It's a series. So we are still praying. But I want you to pray. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray. It's one thing to be gifted. But it's another thing for that gift to be anointed. It's one thing to be graced. Even your grace needs to be anointed. Brothers and sisters, we will mock ourselves if we keep on this path. I cannot live a life without power. A powerless life. Everything ordinary. Everything. Your words are ordinary. Everything happens in your life. There is no supply of intelligence beyond the intellect. It's a terrible life. We are going to pray now. Are we together? As you pray, I'm agreeing with you. The angels of God are going to be walking around and doing things in the lives of people. Please, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, the dimension of power that must land upon my life, let it begin to land. Lift your voice and pray. Be sensitive as you pray. Mighty impartations will begin to happen as you pray. Shapatakata. Fire from heaven land upon our lives. Unction from the throne. Shake Oh, receive it. It's coming on you like fire. Like fire. Like fire. Kaparatos kaba. Pray, 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 pray. An unction, spiritual power for results, power for impact, power. Lord, I'm tired, tired of an ordinary Christian life. I'm tired of just being a follower of a religion. I am tired. I need power from heaven in my life. He said, you shall receive power. You shall receive power. You shall receive power and unction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. When the power of the Holy Ghost is not upon your life, your Christian life will be frustrating. You will hardly get results. It will be a life of struggle. Struggle over everything. You will knock on doors for ages before it opens. But there is an unction. God never designed that we live ordinarily. He said there is this treasure. You are in every way spiritual. The last prayer point, and then I'll pray for us. Listen. Listen. You are going to pray and say, Lord, from my head to my toe, may it be saturated with the power of the living God. Let me be a literal walking bank of power. Come on, Koinonia, are you praying? Lift your voice and pray. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, power. Power in the morning. Power. 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 Kaparatakata. In my sleep. Power. On my bed. The power of the Holy Ghost. As I speak, a release of power. Pray. Lord, I need power. In my business, I need power. In my academics, I need power. Power to conquer. Power to break forth. Power to buy. Power to lose. Power to set the pace. Skaparato kotopesh. 
Power to subdue darkness. Power to subdue witches and wizards. Power to subdue wicked men. Power to prevail over wicked systems. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. Fill me up. It's a prayer in your life till I overflow. your hands. I want to pray for you. All through this series, I'll be ending with prayers. Honestly, I want something to land on your life. Something that separates you. Something that sets you apart. There is an unction a man can carry. There is an unction we all need. Whether you are inside, outside, those online, participate. There's no distance in the spirit. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. And I want you to receive it with your heart. Honestly, I want something to come on your life. All through this week, after every teaching session, I, I want to jack your spirit back. dispensers of authentic power that you have an unction that cannot be denied lift your hands in the name that is above all names I pray everyone inside here and in any of the overflows and all those following us as I stretch my hands right now in the next one to two minutes there will be such an impartation father all kinds of graces choose it by yourself but right now i stand under this anointing receive that impartation everywhere 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 let god locate men unction unction release of spiritual power upon your ministry power upon your academics power upon your spiritual life power upon your prayer life Shaka -ta -ta -ta. Is coming on people inside and outside power upon your words power upon your business power upon your marriage power upon your body power upon every challenge in your life I pray for you where things happen in your life at a natural frequency let there be a transportation right now as I speak be carried in the wings of the spirit right now right now let the spirit of God take men take men be carried right now be carried by the wings of the Holy Ghost be carried by the wings of the Holy Ghost to a realm where you fly where not as are walking be carried to a realm of encounters a realm of visions i open your eyes i open your eyes visions 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 hallelujah we're rounding up lift your hands i pray for you something will happen to many of us right now the hunger 
that makes a man pursue the presence of God. Some of you, your hunger has gone down. You are about to receive a restoration. Right now, wherever you are, hunger, 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 hunger for spiritual things. Prayer hunger, fire hunger. Oh, let it come from the throne. Hunger, hunger that drives you to pray. Hunger. Every distraction in your life, I cast it away. Whether relationship, whether marriage, whether money, everything that distracts you from having a genuine hunger for God, I cast it from your life. Return back to the place of hunger. Take me to the place, the place you are, to. the secret place, that's where I want to be. Take me to the place, the place you are, the, the secret, secret place, that's where I want to be. I want to pray for your hands. Please lift them up. Something will happen to your hands that will change your life. Moses used his rod and threw it. And he used his hands to pick the rod. These hands are supposed to be hands of signs and wonders. But for many of us, there is nothing happening. No results. Just lift your hands. I stretch my hands. I make contact with every hand prophetically. Let there be transference of graces. Right now, in the name of Jesus, your hand from today becomes supernatural. Becomes supernatural. Becomes supernatural. I make contact with your hands. In the name of Jesus, I make contact with your hands. Receive grace. Receive power. Receive grace. Receive power upon your hands receive grace lay it on the sick and watch them rise use it for your academics and watch excellence in the name of jesus let the healing virtue flow to your hands let the healing anointing flow to your hands i release it from my spirit let the healing anointing flow right now i release it from my hands to your hands right now right now right now it's like rain it will come upon you it's time to heal the sick. It's time for the healing ministry to come strong again. I activate it, that healing fire. I activate it, that deliverance fire, deliverance grace, the unction to heal the sick, the unction. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside the Puerto Rico day no demon stands every affliction go Outside, 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 the power of God is falling. Outside, the power of God is falling. God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the ground. Come 
out of her out of her now in the name of jesus fire upon you now in the name of jesus fire upon you fire upon you come out of her now in the name of the lord jesus let her go 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 out of her right now out of her out of her come out come out of her come out of her out of her come out of her now thou foul devil I see a snake out of her come out fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you fire upon you come out of her Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. must open up therefore every power i speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout jesus once and the power of god will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three come out come out come out come out come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Get your tota. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of her. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring this girl. Bring that lady. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out now. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at a hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come. Hello. I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power 
shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person one ear you feel like there's water or something please who is that inside or outside hurry up come quickly you which of them it will be open right now put your hands there as i command that deaf and dumb spirit to go in the name of jesus let her go now go be healed mama salvation has come for you right now which of the ears this one put your hands there that devil is a liar no just put a finger inside go go come out come out of her come out of her right now you are a deaf and dumb spirit in the name of jesus let her go 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 i set you free check it check it someone check her what do you feel no no really i'm free look at my water there again look at instant miracle come what happened mama what look at me what used to happen before i'm not uh, before i used to feel as if there is water inside sometimes i'll be hearing something uh waka inside but now not look at water. this and jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit this is acts of the apostles the bible says jesus is the same yes this is an elderly woman she can't come and stand before you and be telling lies madam you are free forever what's wrong with her both ears she had moms so it affected she had what moms on her left ear moms so it affected bonds both. Can she, she can't hear me now she can't hear the two ears put your hands in her ears jesus how deaf and dumb spirit i curse you over this girl i curse you over this life right now of the Lord Jesus your reign is gone in the name of Jesus someone test me. there's someone come sister you yes come I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach lay your hands there Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in the meat and heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Now foul them. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. 
Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain. Yeah, come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhists sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Com Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Hey, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain me. Used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Most times. Now sharp pain always. Sharp pain. Yes. How long? Is your Hold sister? Me. Okay, like, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers? They, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and will start ministering to people. In mass, what's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? In Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Look. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. Kaparata kaparata balatapai. Krepete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way. And build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She's free. My dear, 
No more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. for a long time out of her right now in Jesus name you must go out come out your exodus out of her life with a loud shout I instruct you to leave now at the count of three one two three Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. 
Now go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I did myself. You started by yourself? Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Lay your hands there. Sarkin Salama Salama Have what? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. Yes, sir. B. C. C. Yes, sir. Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Shepa karata poko sofre teke balata bonda. Mabrati kapos kosi beheshti. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama. Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> Three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. 
You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, he's going. He's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue are big green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. It's a terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said, turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We're still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we're going to minister. We'll have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead. Touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you walk when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer request quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleep. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Quickly, please.
please come and stand here. Get said to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Kaparata kaparede go shatavalia. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go, you're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Betty Closer. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Lepticals are you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. Makaprata Karia. You said she will not marry, she wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh.
your deliverance come your salvation has come it's your time to smile run and come I say run look at what she's doing but those of restoration and prosperity you have cried this lady loves the Lord but she has suffered you have seen you have suffered aha I'm seeing a cake and it's a wedding cake this is what the Lord shows me in the name of the Lord Jesus I release you in Jesus where's the lady I asked her to come where's the lady sister look at me Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. 
Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are the king. request please bring them out quickly if you didn't write those on facebook and all our members please if we cannot have it no problem hold on there are two ladies please don't be ashamed okay the lord asked me to call out the case don't be ashamed okay three people you are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no... Okay. You are suffering from this a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding and this is... Yeah, please, we are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We're a family of faith. There's no... This is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her back for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. expose you foul spirit of darkness now but wedding stops forever it's a spirit she has a dream this is i'm seeing the dream that this lady has now she has a dream they are pouring water and she's standing there later the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees you will look and think she's an irresponsible lady some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place you like talking about people See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right when you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now I've seen you come out of her foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see. Out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out.
Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You're a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You're a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kaparakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabata Batoso Pregete Recata Pariata by the firepower of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you will feel. Come out of her! Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch. From today, just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can we come? All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. you in the spirit hapa rata rakata parekete ke parata bosoto rabandeke parika ratosko petalia regete ke teke teke de belereba rapatosko prenda raposko par reteke teke telekete rebako paratosko pa rapaskia fire upon you right now 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh yes, you must. Go, I have not finished with you. Go. 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 
the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata, rabete keterete, rabaka parata pa, babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go, go. In the name of Jesus, for with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed at the count of three your time of exit is come this is good friday one two three go in jesus name go go Jesus name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus name. She's free. Stand up. You can help. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Please, when people stand up like me, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in, okay? It's not all about deliverance. There's, you need grace. All right? You have finished with Satan, so you need to have something. My dear, God will do great things through your life. You may look weak in yourself, but when he overshadows you, that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. My God, there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, an answer prayer 
answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it with all that you have lift your hands something will happen in this place right now for he never sends us alone he lifts us a witness Jesus I want to impart gifts anointings graces help me instrumentalist at the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Baba Rata, Na Baba, No Bosha, Reke, Reko Shata, Na Baria, Paros, Korekata, Na Preto Sodia, Rendekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just leave them. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move. Fire! Fire! 
fire. Let it come like rain. Le pete te te, le kete, le bos, le pa, le koto, le be, le kariata, ma brat patata rata, le kos. Take it, take it, visions, take it, take it, prophetic experiences, take it. Ababa kata brake de bele bos, outside, take it, take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, Favor anointing, fall, 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 Let it hit you, let it hit you, like tornado, where you are, like a fireball. Aparata kaba, taka brata rata, teke ke teke telebo. I want to prophesy breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God. Use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Haya. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout I receive just once it will hit some of you shout I receive just once one to go take it take it take it take it the breakthrough anointing I command doors be open doors be open miracle jobs Marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days. Many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit. I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman. Don't be foolish. Within the next 30 days, Lord, confirm your word. If you have sent me, let the fire come. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I pick you from where you are financially. I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Every family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it 
I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics, receive grace. For your academics, receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not bald. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase, multiply, advance, move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We are rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please. This is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to Please package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please, just play the strings of it. Many of you do not know. We don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly, hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. For yourself and family. Hold, just hold it. Just hold it. Just keep it holding. Keep it. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that cause. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go. 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 I break the curse. Go. Go. Go.
Go, go, lift it up. Go, go. I break the curse. Go. It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you packet something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Raposata. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Paretaka kaparoto pretelika. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity I release it upon your life right now I release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We're soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the word i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance he said, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. There's no shortcut to greatness. There's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God. Everyone, please stand up. Right now, I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling. All those people that I told them it's time to get born again. Now it's your time to run out and come out here. 
everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand, please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life He's the one we represent here. He's the one we exalt. There is only one name. Not any man of God. Not Bishop Stan. Not Pastor Jakes. Not Joshua Selman. Jesus and him alone. I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Now look at me. All of you who have come here, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus' name. This is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very, very loud. Say after me, Lord Jesus. It's not a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. I believe you died for me. I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm born again. The life of God is in me. And Satan will go. Go! Was still praying? And what, what was I saying? And Satan will live my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's making Jesus Lord of her life. You're a foul spirit. Out. Out. You're a wicked spirit. Go. This is, this is authentic born again. Authentic one that comes with a dramatic change. Many of you got born again. You were laughing from the beginning to the end. You don't even know what happened to you. This is what they call old time religion born again one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles holy spirit come and live in me from today i am yours in the name of jesus i'm a child of god i break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life. To make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jax is meeting with you tomorrow by by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we're not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
we are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.